Okay, so my hair is <laughs> so ugly right now. I am Ali Laveau and today I'm gonna be trying out a hair gloss because my hair has not been the greatest lately or in general. So I have like really dry hair. I've literally tried everything. You could blame it on it being dyed and bleached, but even when my hair was natural or when I grew it out two years ago, it was still the same problem. Then I recently saw a little clip go viral of Medicine Beer and someone like said on a live stream like oh you have really shiny nice hair and she was like hair is so shiny thank you like i don't take care of my hair like at all um i think it's just because it's dark and i get glosses pretty regularly and i was like what if it's a hair gloss the kind i've bought is like basically a hair dye but without color, if that makes sense. So it would sh shut the cuticle of the hair while developing. So today I'm gonna try doing that. I'm also gonna dye my roots because I am a natural blonde and they're coming out and they don't look nice. They look like I'm balding. She's bald! She's bald and she's torturing people who have hair! Okay, so I'm gonna start off with dyeing my roots. And then while that's developing, I'll put in the hair gloss. So I bought all this stuff from Redken. Uh, I've not used this color yet, but the supplier that sold these didn't have my regular hair dye. So I'm just gonna take a little guess here, which is why I bought two shades. Okay, so they are the 6.64 and the 7.64 from the Color Gels Lacquer line. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And then a Redken 20 volume developer i've noticed that then volume is not cutting it for me anymore maybe i'm graying or something okay so i put one fourth level seven in one fourth level six and then two fourths of the 20 volume developer because i'm not sure which of the colors is best for me yet so i think if i mix both of them i will probably see if i need to go lighter or darker next time or if it's perfect maybe even so I always start with just a little bit and then I make more and then I put it on and I make more so I don't make too much because throwing it away is very wasteful and also very expensive. Also, I'm not wearing gloves right now, which is so against my principles because I've dyed my hair without gloves before and it really does mess up your hands, and your skin and sometimes it stains for days, weeks even. But I just went to grab some gloves and I knew I was already out of the latex gloves, which I do prefer, prefer to use. But I thought I still had some like these loose plasticky ones, but I didn't. So I have no gloves in my house and I have no intention to go outside right now. So I'm just gonna be a hypocrite, but please wear gloves if you don't do this at home, so. Okay, so it's all mixed up and it's kind of like this gel-like texture. I'm gonna start with applying it on top, on the middle, because I want that to be the best developed section. And then I'm just gonna go up until like right above the ears, like here, and then here, and then here, and then here, and then here. So it develops evenly and then I do the bottom layer, just in the back, just kind of smack it on because I can't really see. So I just want to cover as much as possible. Okay, here we go. really cold really saturating it on the scalp and then slowly brushing it like dry brushing it out so you don't really get a hard line in case the color doesn't really match that well to my current hair color and go on there and after that I'm gonna go back to that side again etc I look like Skrillex in like 2012 with the sides cut. So far the color is already developing, which I'm kind of shocked about because usually they kind of take a while to show its color. Also I do prefer to dye my eyebrows matching to my hair, but for video making that isn't the most convenient thing to have because most looks I do, I wear a wig and those wigs aren't bright orange, so... 
I'm also not sure what I'm gonna do with the back of my hat because usually I just apply it with my hands like but I don't have gloves and I don't want to stain my hands orange. Okay, so I'm going with the trash bag method to apply it this way. Well, yeah, for the back I'm just putting a lettering it on. I might have skipped a few spots, but that's, that's the danger of the job. I take this all down. Just gonna massage it in. Just not very profesh. But I mean, I am not a professional, so. Okay, so I got a new clean trash bag and I'm trying not to move my hands so much because it makes a lot of fucking noise. I'm gonna do presents of the Shades EQ Crystal Clear, so no color. And then 50% of the Shades EQ Glass Processing Solution. Speaking is hard, y'all. Sometimes my accent is really in my fucking way. But then also, I don't know what accent, like, naturally English speaking accent I should adopt sound less Dutch or I don't really mind sounding Dutch but sometimes words just, just don't come out of my mouth right unless I'm like putting on a fake accent like shades it's really weird because I'm both like a very like liquidy texture in the sense that it actually looks like water but if you like mix them, they they so suddenly become like a gel. Okay, I'm gonna start off with a little bit just to see how it works, but I'm probably gonna need a lot because I have a lot of hair. Not even everything is to the front right now. <laughs> mix it and mix it and mix it and mix it. I'm gonna get my fresh trash bag again. Actually, I'm touching with this hand now too so okay the trash bag is <laughs> not working so i'm just gonna raw dog this one i don't know how far up i'm gonna take it because uh, i can imagine that this and the dye shouldn't mix mix it and mix it there's probably some chemical problem that i don't want to introduce oh my camera just died bye okay so i'm back my Camera just died, but I have more batteries, but one of them wasn't plugged in correctly, so that one is also still dead. But I had one that was already filled up. I'm gonna have to make a bit of haste. So I'm kind of just applying it like a conditioner or like a hair mask. It's a very nice consistency to work with. Okay, this is taking so long. Better be worth it. I'm also I'm not really sure how often you should repeat this. I think I read some more like every month. I'm not sure if that's the best idea because it does take a lot of product to do a full head. I have a little bit left so I'm just gonna distribute that over the whole entirety and then I'm gonna let it sit for a bit and I'm gonna wash it out and I'm gonna probably cut my hair because to be fair I had a lot of split ends that are not really you're not I'm not gonna be able to save this so so I see you back in a bit okay so I'm back it's looking pretty good I'm gonna cut my hair a little bit because I haven't done that in several months oopsie so I'm gonna do that I think I'm gonna make that a separate little video 
So keep your eyes peeled for that one. And I'll see you after cutting my hair and trying and styling it. Okay, so I styled my hair and at the moment I didn't really see much difference. But now looking back at it, it looks so much better than before. And also it feels a lot softer. So yeah, in general, I'm very happy with how the hair gloss came out. I'm also very happy with the color of the hair dye because it matches my hair pretty well. So that's all. Love you, X. Yeah.